Hi guys, look at you here, and this is Eat Your Vegetables, a series dedicated to all things vegetables. And I have a lot of veggies laying around in my fridge, because they were on sale. So to use up our veggies and get our daily vitamin A, B, C, D, F, G, today we'll be making Korean vegetable pancake, AKA yachijeon. Uh, look at you, veggies don't belong in pancakes. <laughs> You don't belong in a pancake. Oh, true. These are actually a savory style of pancake. They're thin and crisp and packed with a lot of veggies. Also, Miku's paw is healing. So to get her paw back into tip top shape, let's get this video to 130 likes and she'll get rewarded with some fresh cabbage, which she surprisingly drools over. Now let's get vegetable pancaking. So I'm doing my weekly browsing at Miku's Farmer's Free Market. Free veggies. And, oh, what's that? Free veggies. Wait, you're giving away free veggies? Yes, they're free. No strings attached? Uh, there are. Ah, uh, okay. Under what condition can I get these free veggies? No condition, they're free. They just have strings attached to them. Why? You know what? I don't even want to know. Let's do a little grocery haul and see what we got from Miku. Oh, a medium carrot. She said beta carotene, a medium zucchini, AKA courgette in Francais. Green cabbage, but oh, it looks like someone sat on it. So it must be the one and only Taiwanese flat cabbage. Oh, exotic. A small yellow onion, crunchy in spese, and some green onions. Can't wait for a quick cry sesh. We're chopping around seven stalks of green onion and slicing half an onion. And the reason why we're using both types of onions is not because the green onion gives a pop of color and the yellow onion gives a nice crunch and spice. No, no, no. It's so we get double the salty tears in our pancake. You know, so there's more flavor. And your green onion strips should measure around 1.5 inches. Now let's heal our eyes from the onion trauma and julienne our carrot. And speaking of carrots, not sure why the first person that came up with the word named them carrot instead of carripe. Rot is not a very appetizing term for these gorgeous oompa loompas. And we'll be chopping up our Mark Zuckerberg into matchsticks as well. But if you're smart, you'd purchase a mandolin and not waste your precious youthful years chopping up zucchini into thin strips. Your zucchini and carrot strips should measure around 2.5 inches. And finally, we'll be shredding some cabbage. And I know it's Taiwanese cabbage because it's the same thickness as the island. I personally prefer Taiwanese cabbage, but you can just use the typical coleslaw style green cabbage. Just don't use Napa or Savoy cabbage, which is really bad and will make your pancakes soggy. Also, a quick shortcut is to just buy that pre-packaged bag of coleslaw mix, you know? Save you a little time and trouble. But anyways, what's a pancake without batter. Now I'm sure you're used to making thick boxed buttermilk pancake batter. <laughs> that was a lot of bees. You know the ones where you just add water. But both buttermilk pancakes and yachijeon are completely and utterly different. However, they do have one ingredient in common and that is ooh, AP flour. This is 10 kilograms. Workout, 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 okay. The AP flour combined with water will act as a glue for the veggies to stick to that round. <laughs> but it won't stay crispy for long without some cornstarch or potato starch. The addition of the starch helps create a crispy and light crust. So to a large bowl, plop in one cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of corn or potato starch, one teaspoon of baking powder. This prevents the pancake from becoming dense and half a teaspoon of salt. Do a little whiskey whisk to ensure that all the ingredients are well dispersed before you pour yourself a cup of cold water. How cold? 
ice cold. And why cold water, you ask? Well, it slows the development of gluten. And the more gluten, the gummier and dense the batter. So cold water will make our batter light and crispy. And I recommend adding the water bit by bit to ensure that you get it right. Uh, but look at you. Why? Is my pancake batter different consistency to yours? If I used the same measurements. <laughs> well, since I'm a flour expert, okay. This species of wheat harvested to make your flour will definitely be different from mine. Uh, why look at you? Because different species of wheat have a higher or less amount of protein which will affect the amount of water your flour absorbs. So if your batter is thinner or thicker than mine, <laughs> then you messed up. Just kidding. Simply add more cold water or flour respectively until you reach the same consistency as crepe batter. So this is perfect. And in this exact order, add in your seven stalks of green onions chopped, half a cup of sliced yellow onions, one cup of julienne carrots, two cups of shredded cabbage, and a cup of julienne zucchini. Then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix. I know it looks like there's a lot of veggies, but your batter should leave a thin film on each vegetable, and you should still be able to see their color. It should basically look like creamy coleslaw, but instead of that creamy dressing, it's pancake batter. Yum. Let's use a nonstick pan and add in enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan. Turn the heat to medium, plop around a cup and a half of our vegified batter into the pan and immediately start thinly spreading the batter, but not too thin where you can see the pan. This will ensure that the veggies get fully cooked and the pancake will be light and crispy instead of raw and doughy in the center. Let it cook unbothered for four to five minutes. Now that the top of the pancake is a bit more dry, and let's take a peek. The bottom looks nice and golden crispy. Let's do a flip. Add another tablespoon of oil along the perimeter of the pancake. This will make sure both sides get crisp equality, okay? And we'll let this side cook for three to four minutes or until golden brown. But uh-uh-uh, we're not done yet. We're gonna do one more flip to make it extra crisp. Let it cook for an additional minute and transfer to a wire rack to cool. Now that we've made three pancakes measuring around eight inches in diameter, it's time to make a quick tangy soy dipping sauce. So to a small bowl, combine three tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of white vinegar, one teaspoon of white granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of roasted sesame seeds. Do a little mixy mix, tricksy tricks, and oh, there we have it, Korean vegetable pancakes, aka yachidon. And while the pancakes are still crisp, pair it with our lovely dipping sauce and let's dig in. All right, so this is the finished product and I'm super excited. All right, cheers. First bite for you. Mm, nom nom nom. Nice and saucy. When you first take a bite, you get hit with that crispy and light crunch of the pancake crust. Then you chew a little and you get that lovely onion and carrot and cabbage flavor. The texture is sort of similar to a hash brown, but much healthier. And you can get your daily vegetable intake with one pancake. <laughs> you don't need to use the same veggies that I used. You can basically use anything you have in your fridge, except like tomatoes. All right, so this gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week and I'll see you guys next time. Since we got last video to 150 likes, Miku gets 150 hugs. 
One, two, 19, 20, 21, 20, 150. Yeah. Oh, okay. And if you're still here, comment, I'm a pancake to confuse everyone.